Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm Dave with Spruce Industries here for another special segment on the Beyond the Products blog on spruceindustries.com. So if you haven't noticed, every chemical that's in your closet right now has a label on it, and that label has the EPA registration number for that particular product. Now that number is broken into three different groups separated by hyphens, and I'm gonna explain to you which each one means. So that first grouping of numbers that's on there is going to represent a number given by the EPA to the manufacturer of the chemical after going through the tedious process of figuring out the kill claims that the product may carry and to ensure the health and safety of its users. The second grouping of numbers is assigned to the chemical itself. And that third group of numbers is a number assigned to the distributor of the product. Now you may be asking yourself, Dave, how can I figure out if the chemical that I have in my closet right now carries the proper kill claims for a particular virus or bacteria? So for an example, I'm going to use the Triple S ACE 256 Neutral Disinfectant and I'm going to plug its EPA registration number into the epa.gov list N. And list N is, and I'll read it right from here, list N includes products that meet EPA's criteria for use against SARS-CoV-2, the cause of COVID-19. So an important thing to note before we plug this in is that when you have a EPA registration number with three different groupings of numbers, you're going to use the first two groups of numbers because as we said, it's going to be the manufacturer in that first group and the chemical itself in the second group. Now, using the Triple S ACE 256, we're gonna find out if it carries the kill claims for the COVID-19 virus. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our browser and we're gonna to go to the distributor's website, which is triple.s.com, and we're gonna search for this particular product, the ACE 256, and we're gonna find the safety data sheet. Once we pull that up, uh, we're going to find the EPA registration number down here. And remember, the three groups of numbers. This is, the, this is the manufacturer of the chemical, this is the chemical itself, and this is the distributor number. So this number is specific to triple S. So all that we're going to need are the first two groups of numbers. We'll copy that, we'll pull up a new tab, and we're going to go to Google. To find EPA list N, we're going to go to EPA list N and hit search. Click on the first one here. And now list N includes products that meet EPA's criteria for use against SARS-CoV-2, which is the cause of COVID-19. So if you scroll down, you're going to find a whole list of chemicals that carry this particular claim. So we're going to find out if the ACE-256 carries this claim. So we're gonna paste into the search bar that uh, the first two groups of numbers. And as we can see, it does carry that claim. So just to be clear, Mason Chemical Company manufactures the component for the disinfectant. Mason then sells that component along with all of its kill claims to Triple S to enable them to create their ACE-256. So because Mason was the company that worked directly with the EPA in registering their component, their name is listed, although Triple S also carries the same exact kill claims. I appreciate you watching this video, and if there are any questions that you may have, feel free to reach out to anybody at Spruce Industries, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you. <laughs>